Guess what, super nerds? It's video time. While well, this thing updates with version 229. Here we go. Oh, God. Look, look. The peel. The peel. Look how smooth that is. I can't wait to grease this thing up. Look at these hands. I've been working on my uh, Tahoe. And, uh, oh, it's ready. Hot and fresh. That's what I'm talking about. So, let's get this thing all oriented. So, any hoozles. You want to do it here. You want to do that. Man, that's reflective. I really need to do this kind of inside, don't I? If, if I can. So, jackpot. Other button. This button. ECU upgrade. Jackpot. Upgrade. Now, neat thing. If you got one, if you got a trans control or drive-by wire or both, you need to do drive-by wire. If you have a unit that is strictly drive-by cable with no trans control, you can do the cable one. Drive-by wire is for everything else that exists. Otherwise, if you don't select that, your trans won't work, even if you're running drive-by cable. Or if you're running a manual gearbox and you got drive-by wire, then that won't work. It'll idle and be weird, but it happens. Also, if you're having this problem and you think, you know, if you ordered a Jackpot Pro and it's super cool and all that jazz, but your trans ain't working right, flip that ECU over. And here on the back, that's that's some stuff I did. But uh, on the back, it'll have like a serial number and it'll have like a, it'll say drive by cable. If it has that and you got trans control, it ain't gonna work. It's not even populated there. Five seconds, more like 20. Look how reflective that is. I mean, that's that's high definition right there for you. Anyways, in this new thing, yeah, we're going to select that, hit that button, or you can double tap. We need to run it through the old wizard. This thing is 58 tooth. Yep, it's a mild cam, uh-huh pretty sure that's the sensor if i'm wrong i can just switch it later it's got two that it is drive by wire it is trans control it's a 163 second gear look it up in the manual it's super rare and very special to have something with a 175 so everything else is 1625 something it's 163 is what i'm saying eight cylinders these are aces injectors it is a 323 good idle save it fiddly buttons now this is my favorite part we're going to do something real interesting we're going to go in here straight away to tuning and to fuel and basic and we're going to change how much psi we got which this thing is running a 60 pound system so we change that that's super cool we're also going to go in here in advanced, and I'm going to turn off learning. I want to see how much how much percentage it's doing whenever it goes into open loop. So we got those those parameters set. I haven't even fooled with the trans control. There's other parameters in that, but look how fat she's running. That's a lot of fuel, right? We'll let it go into closed loop and see how much compensation it does. Well, I tell you, she's, uh, she's got the potatoes in a pipe today. It, mainly because all the extra fuel. That should really be around four, not eight. So I'm running twice as much fuel. You'll see when these things kick on. It might be a minute because we're, we're kind of cold right here. I tell you what, everybody at the Cars and Coffee here in Old Chattanooga is going to be real jealous of this thing. Why can't I have such a fine vehicle? LS swap my stuff, blah, blah, blah. Actually, probably not. They, they'll probably like the Prius, the black truck, and my sweet van. Or the Mustang over there. Hey, we're in closed loop. Look, see, and right now it's bringing fuel out like a freaking champion coming right down 3.7 3.6 uh, three it likes 3.7 cool let's hit this and go to monitor monitors and then sensor and let's look at see how much closed loop comp 
compensation it's kicking for us here. It's bringing nearly, nearly 40% of the fuel out of this thing. Just sitting here chilling. Of course, there's some fuel modifiers happening. But let's say if we dump 30% out of this, this table, what would it do? So we're going to go back. We're going to go back again and again. Tuning, fuel, basic. And look, now we have this. This is a fuel table offset. So if we're running at 100 and it's 30, it's pulling 30 points of fuel out, let's go in here, right? Let's, let's say 80. Let's just say 80%. Let's, right, and hit save. Instantly runs different. So now it's loping a little bit harder. Let's go back over here to sensors. Look, we're closer. Let's, let's take it down a little bit more. Oh, too many buttons. Too many buttons. Tuning. Fuel. Basic. We're going to click here. Right? 60%. Safe. Oof. I get lost in these things sometimes. I'm sure you guys do too. Oh my god, look. Look at that. So we're close to 100% now, but we I overshot my target. Now it's putting almost 10% of fuel back in. So we know that if we go back, not that stupid. Ugh. It's morning, I ain't coffee. So if we go back and say, for instance, we put this at 68. 68 is a good number. I love this new option. This is this is super great. If you got a fuel table that's too fat, bring some fuel out of it. Look, turn off the learning. Look at what the closed loop is doing, and just just to see, because we're gonna go back over here to monitor monitors sensor cruise over to where our look at that. We're within we're within five percent. So do we roll the dice and squeeze the rest of the juice out of this lemon? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm making a video. Why not? Why not? So let's see here. Look, see that the actuals, see the actual AFRs, and the pulse width is right around four, like I was I was on about earlier. We're doing pretty good. The idles come down a little bit. All the plastic is just resonating in this vehicle. But you can see we're getting some temperature, so that we know we're, we're getting slightly more. So it's bringing, it's bringing a bit more out of there. We just you know we was overzealous on our previous thing. So back to tuning, fuel, basic, back to our offset. Let's put it at 62. Yeah, 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 62, you see. It felt, ooh, it felt like it cleaned up a little bit. This is a good, oh yeah, yeah, we're real close right there, real close. So at this point, with this being the way it is, real close to 100, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to not that button we're going back to fuel and advanced and we're going to turn our learning back on bam learning's on and then if we go back to monitor monitors sensor and scroll over to see what the see we're getting close to 100 we're getting real close to 100 so we're we brought the physical table down to meet where it was compensating at dead off the hit. So now this thing's going to run better and learn less in the long run. Just like I do with the laptop, but now it's in the handheld. So let me let me get this thing uh, turned around here and I'll do another deal. So here we are, back at it. Got the handheld. This tune's pretty dynamite. Um, it's just... Does a good job. Look, I've already got the screen dusty. So we fit it with the fuel stuff. That's pretty dynamite. We got this going on. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. There's files on this thumb drive. I don't know if that's going to cause it a headache or not, but this is also probably one of the worst thumb drives I actually have. It just happened to be the one that was in my pocket. 
we got this sweet tune file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to upload from Jackpot. New file. Let's see. Blazer. Blazer. Check. See the spinny? That means it's thinking and doing stuff. So now we're cruising along, doing a thing. Got the Jackpot just old chooching along, pulling, pulling. Hey, look. We just created a calibration file in the handheld. Sweet, right? Yeah, if you hit save as, it asks you to override it if you don't hit the back button, apparently. Cool, so that's this is how you get to there. You hit that button, files. If we go to manage files, we got that. So say for instance, um, we'll try to we'll try to put it on the thumb drive here in a minute. Say, for instance, we have a pretty smoking tune that we just imported into this thing. And now it's on the handheld. We could just hit that and then download, and it'll make sure the engine's not running all that stuff. Look, it's thinking. It's putting this calibration file into the jackpot. Just like I was uh, copying and pasting with, that, uh, with the laptop the other day. Yeah, look at that. It's just like we ran a thing. I heard the throttle body click. That means it's powered down. See, this is doing good. Sweet. So that tune file that's in here, imagine if we uploaded it from a different ECU, like your buddy's got a car with the same build, and you're having trouble just getting the basic parameters in, but he already been to the dyno, and it's real safe, but it's still a good tune. You could do that. Let's let's try to get it on the thumb drive here. So let's go to manage files. There's a Blazor one. Uh, let me plug in a USB drive. Now this thing has got some trash on it. I don't know if it's going to work. So it might be a situation where it needs to be a blank one. But we'll, we'll just give it a we'll just give it a good old go. Here's all the stuff that's on the USB drive. That's cool. So that one, and then we hit that button. Do you want to overwrite Blazor? Yeah. So, well, I was fiddling and testing with this earlier. I'd already made one, but I just overwrote it. So, just overwrote the file. So, now we're going to go back, right? I'm going to delete the one that I made earlier. Now, there's nothing in here. So, if I want to go back in here and say that I got on my computer and somebody sent me this thing and I threw it on the thumb drive, it's going to see this. So, I can click that button and then the middle button. There it is. Now hit the back button right there and I pulled the old thumb drive out and we wanted to send it there it is again this is an uploaded one so that's that's it you just click that and hit the download button it sends the tune in there and you're dialed in no extra laptop stuff fairly basic very stripped down we got ability to manipulate the whole fuel table as like an offset parameter which is super good and we got the ability to upload and download tunes with a USB drive. I really hope this stuff helps you guys out. It's been a lot of conversations pushing into this kind of stuff and just taking all the suggestions and putting them in the same box and actually have conversations about them just to make this kind of stuff happen. There's a lot more coming in the future, but, I mean, there's some big stuff It's going to help a lot of folks out. If you got any questions, I mean, you know where to find me. But, bye now.